Number five here. Today we're going to do a uh, personal defense round test. We're going to use the Sig Sauer 45 Auto 200 grain jacketed hollow point with the V crown against the Federal 230 grain high shock jacketed hollow point. And here's what they look like. And if you get a good view of them. The SIG is here, the nickel, and then this is the Federal. Let me see if I can get you a better view of the tops. All right, let's do this. Let's make it happen. My ears are shot anyway. From All right, so the SIG is first. SIG on the left, Federal on the right. We'll do it one at a time. Stand by. <laughs> that table needs to be washed anyway. Let's see, we get to one, two. Three, four, five, six. Uh-oh. I'm gonna have to go look for this. Stand by. Hey, all right. We couldn't find it. We couldn't find the slug. We look back there. We can't find it. We're gonna do it again. We put eight bottles, and I'm going to put my favorite old pair of jeans up as if we're shooting through a denim jacket or something. Let's see what happens. All right, so stand by here. I'm going to double it up, so we're going through four layers of denim. It's cool. All the, all the tops popped right off. Ah! Like this is going to be the federal, the federal round this time because I don't think it's as strong as the uh, the sig, but I, I may be wrong. All right, let's see what. That sucks. That went through four layers of denim and five and a half gallons of water. That really sucks. All right, we're gonna take a break here. We're gonna set it up for the SIG 45 and see what happens. Okay, we're back. We're ready to go with the SIG self-defense ammo. Okay, just uh, for you that tuned in late, it's. 45 auto, 200 grain, jacketed, hollow point, V crown. Let's see if we can get some expansion on this and how much penetration. Oh, the wind knocks off. Whoa. <laughs> All right. One, two, three, four, five. It's in the fifth one, I hope. somewhere can't be too far I'm gonna find this one so we'll see hey everybody I'm back uh, took me about 20 minutes on my hands and knees to find that sig round anyway I want you to take a close look 
at what we came up with here. Now here's the Federal, the High Shock. We had zero expansion. That was very disappointing. That went through four layers of denim and five and a half gallons of water. Zero expansion. And that, that cost extra. This is range ammo now. This is just plinking ammo. I'm not going to put this in my weapon. I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a ballistic gel test one of these days with it. Just to, you know, be sure. Very impressed with the SIG ammo. Look at the expansion on this. I don't know if you can see that good. There's, de there's denim embedded in it. <laughs> there's denim tore up all around here. That is, that is nice. That's about the size of a quarter. That's going to do some damage. And this is all very sharp, jagged. Um, if I try to bend it or something, I'll cut my finger. So the SIG wins hands down. And this is another lesson for everybody out there. I did a couple of videos on uh, self-defense ammo in the past. And we had fa failures to feed in certain weapons. So what you need to do is always go out and, and test your ammo. I mean, you don't have to do this kind of test, you know. I'll do it for you. But at least test it in your weapon to make sure your weapon is going to function properly with it. Because sometimes, sometimes the ash will get hung up on the flat front of these rounds. Anyway, another, another important lesson. Um, I enjoyed that one. It was good. Uh, got to go outside and blow some stuff up or shoot some stuff up. It was fun. I'm going to do a lot more videos like this. Uh, this is Frogman405. Like, share, and subscribe. And any uh, questions and suggestions, I I'm looking forward to them. You want to see me do some certain kinds of videos, suggest them. Let's keep it clean, all right? I'm not, I'm not doing any naked stuff. Anyway, this is Frogman405 out.